All right, this is Maureen Legas, and today we're just going to talk about family reunion and the schedule, the tracker. It's a little bit um, convoluted, so I wanted to make sure everyone knew how to use it. Um, the schedule tracker uh, is found in your KW login. So when you go into your MyKW and you sign in, um, let's see if it'll move quickly today, and um, up in the KW, up here in the black and white, that's your KW toolbar, uh, under events, you're going to go to Family Reunion. We're going to click Family Reunion. It's going to open up the Family Reunion page. Um, and I'm going to check. If you have questions along the way, raise your hand, click the hand raise, or put a message in there, and I will get notified of that, and I'll try to stop and answer questions. All right, so when you're on your family reunion page, you want to click on Agenda. And when this popped up, because I had already signed in, I just checked to make sure it was working properly before I started, my schedule pops up. If you are not signed in, up here, once you click Agenda, up here on the right side, it'll tell you you are not logged in and to log in with your MyKW password. Once you do that, you would click Agenda again once you're logged in, and it will take you to the Agenda page. Now your schedule, as you click on your schedule, it will appear here on the right-hand side of the page. Now some items will show up on this page and others, so here, Registration Information, I click to, to um, save that. So right here, registration and information, you would click save if you want to add that to your schedule. If I was an MCA, I'd click save and add that to my schedule. It doesn't show up immediately. I have to refresh the page, and then it would show up here as the MCA workshop. I can click to unsave it, because I'm not an MCA, and reload the page, and then it takes it away. But you'll notice here on the page that some of the sessions are uh, spelled out and others just say breakouts. So on the 15th, uh, or on the 17th rather, if I come here and I click on breakouts, I can pick which sessions that I'm interested in attending. On my main schedule page, it's only going to say breakouts. That's because this, the, this page, it would get too long if you, if you clicked on all of the breakouts on this one main page. So here, your schedule will match the page you're on. So since I'm on the main agenda page, those are the only items that will show up here on my schedule. So I'll come through, register no, registration yes, exhibit hall, well I might stop there but not then, cultural summit um, from 10 to 11.30, well maybe that would be interesting so I click save. Now when I'm saving these classes or these events, it doesn't guarantee that I'm getting into them. This is not a reservation system. So I'm not able to say I'm saving it and therefore I'm guaranteed a spot. The schedule is just so when we are running around family reunion, we can look at it and see where we want to be. So it helps us pull out the, um, the sessions that we're most interested in and have them in one place, but this is not a reservation system. So I go through, there's some breakouts on the 16th, so I'm going to click here for more information. And once I'm on the breakout page, you'll see there's a schedule for the breakout page. And that's separate from that main page, so that way there's not too much in one spot. So my breakout sessions on the 16th, Max Pigman is going to be there. And I saved that because I like to go to the Max Pigman sessions. I learn a lot of technology there. So I click to save. My transactions, uh, um, uh, evolution is coming. If I wanted to go to that, it's at the same time as Max Pigman, so I did not save that. So that's on the 16th. Um, then what, let me see here, what you can do as well. Here are all the breakout sessions. Some of them you can see are for agent, some are for leadership, some are for team leader, some are for all. If I don't want to have to read through every single one, up here at the top, I can click on a topic. So I'm going to say, show me all the agent sessions. So I click on agent, and it will show me everything that would apply to an agent and I can go through and select and save those that I'm most interested in. And sometimes what you might want to do is, like, here's two classes at the same time, 1 to 2.15, 1 to 2.15, negotiating, negotiation skills to save the deal, and then this 
the Spanish session, so let's say I don't want to do that, but the KW Technology Action Plans and Negotiation Skills, they're both at the same time. I might save both of them because if I get to one session and it's packed and I can't get in, I can look at my schedule and I can see what it is that was another class that had my interest and go to my second choice. Sometimes the class sizes are, are the rooms are small and you can't fit in there. So this is kind of um, a tickler file for you to understand what it is that you're most interested in, in getting involved with. So again, on your agenda page, you don't have all the breakout sessions. I'm going to go back to my agenda page. Um, what it's going to show me is that I do have breakouts selected. But I would go to the breakout page um, here. I would click on more info for breakouts in order to save and see those sessions. All right, so let me go back to breakouts. And we had looked by agent. And then we can look if we have the team leader role, OP, mega agent, uh, GPS members. So GPS members are, uh, what is GPS? Global. That's the global. Um, organization and I believe I, I don't remember if anyone knows if that is a free membership to join that global group um, let me know type in there but these are things that apply to the global uh, market uh, agents and then view all breakouts of course everything is there now sometimes they'll have a topic like technology and and you know but this year I don't see that that's available like I could pick only technology sessions all right, does anyone have any questions yet at this point? We're going to talk about once we save our sessions, what the heck we're going to do with them. So any questions? Okay. So, all right, so now we go through, we save all of our sessions, and then I'm coming over here and I'm clicking, I'm clicking, I'm trying to print this thing. I'm looking for print, I'm looking everywhere to figure out, now that I saved the sessions, how do I print it? Now, I think last year they had a KW app, and I was looking for that, um, a uh, mobile app for Keller Williams where we can access this, and I'm looking to see, it might be when I sign on to kw.com, and I'll send everybody a note once I find that. But what I found that you can't click to, to print what the schedule is. So what I did, I'm going to go back to my agenda, my main page, and what I did is I used the snipping tool. So everybody has the snipping tool. If you click on the start button on your laptop or some version, if you have a Mac, you have some kind of version of this, and you go into um, all programs, and then you find the accessories folder, and under accessories, you'll find something called the snipping tool. And if you right click on the snipping tool, you can pin it to the taskbar, you can pin it to the start menu, wherever you want. You could, you could send it to your um, desktop. And I pinned it down here. Let me click here. Right down here is my snipping tool. So here's my schedule. I would open a Word document. I click on my snipping tool. And I come up here and I drag and I save my schedule. And then I click in the middle and copy it. And then I go to my Word document and I paste it. So that's how I found, since you can't print it, that's how I found to save it so I could have it in my pocket. This is something about being paperless and all, but I have it in my, my pocket when I'm walking around so I don't have to rely on my phone, which I can't see that tiny stuff anyway. So there you go. There you have it. And then you do the same thing for your breakout sessions. When you go back up to your breakout sessions, click on More Info to find that. And then here on this page would be your breakout sessions. So remember, though, too, when you save something, it doesn't automatically show up. You just have to refresh the page, reload the page. All right, so that's really it on the family reunion um, scheduler. It was the short session today, but since family reunion's coming up, it, it's not, this wasn't very intuitive. We had a lot of chatter on the, let me just see here, if anybody commented. I asked anybody if they knew how to print. I don't see anything here. Um, there, there was a lot of chatter on um, this, the um, uh, Facebook pages about not being able to figure out how to save. I keep saving things. They don't show up. 
So this is why I want to just have this to tell you, you have to refresh to see it show up. You have to go to the breakout page to find your breakout sessions. You, it doesn't look like I can print it anyway. I couldn't figure out how to print it. So I just snip it and then save it in a Word document and print the Word document. So that's all there is to it. Does anyone have, it's a real short one today, does anyone have any questions? No questions, good. All right, perfect. So that's it. If you have, I will look and see if I can find the app on this. I'll send it out to everybody um, that shows us uh, how to access it from our phone. Um, and then that's about it. So we'll see everybody out in Dallas. Thank you.